Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to try to make this as short and simple as possible, but fucking wish me luck. Anyways, good evening and Merry Christmas. It's been a while, but I figured since there's been a new update for Mountain Blade where they supposedly have finally fixed Siege, now is a good time to get this to you guys so you can improve how your game works because Tail Words does an absolute shit job most of the time. And the game is almost unplayable without mods, in my opinion, if you want to have fun and not constantly restart making new games every time they uh, release an update and decide to break something else. Um, like, I think that the AI for, well, let's just see. So, first off, I'm going to show you how you can edit your weapon types, soldiers, what the soldiers are carrying, uh, where to, well, I used to be able to know, and I was just looking at it, but somehow I can't find it again, where to put the holsters for your weapons, meaning take it from your your side to your back, and your back to your side, if you wanted it like so. I don't remember where I was just looking at that was, but I was looking at it before when I was recording this a second ago, and I lost it mid-record, so I'm just restarting the whole video, and we'll see if we get to that, but I swear it's in these stats somewhere, I was just looking at it, and now I lost it. Anyways, let's take a look here. So, let's look at first editing item stats. So here's Coat of Plates, right? It's got 45, 19, and 6 for the armor stats. No head armor. I have not loaded a game where I've edited this yet, but what I have edited so far over here is this saddle horse, right? As you can see here, charge damage, blah, blah, blah. All very different than what it should be, say, compared to that saddle or sumter horse, which is more of what they would be. A lot closer to those kind of stats, right? Same thing with my crafted weapons. And what I've edited here is the actual crafted pieces. So I've edited the, the specific blade piece here, and that was fine steel spartha. Blade. I've also edited the engraved backsword blade, as you can see here. And what I've edited is the damage factors, the swinging cut factors. So, I guess we'll start at how you would even get to this, because most people will need that. So, if you have it installed through Steam, right, you're going to go Steam, or, well, actually, let's go further back. Program files, okay, or Local disk C, okay? Program files, Steam, Steam apps, Common, Bannerlord, Modules. Then you're going to select which module you're editing. Unfortunately, for the base game, it isn't too well, what I'm going to go over today is in two separate files, so you'll have to navigate back and forth between that, depending on what you're trying to edit. So first, if we wanted to get the crafted item pieces, we're going to go to Native, then Module Data, and then we will find Crafting Pieces. And in order to edit this file, you have to right-click on it and go Edit. If you just open it, it'll open in HTML, nothing will happen. Well, you won't be able to change anything. So we go crafting pieces, right? Open that up. I've already got one of these open here somewhere. Crafting pieces. And right off the bat, what am I showing for you guys? Oh, the Spartan blade, right? Oh, it's a different Spartan blade. Let's go. F so control F, fine. This is what we're looking for right now. Nothing up. Spark the blade. Oops. And here. So now we're at the spark the blade crafting piece. And her blade six is the item ID, the actual. So if you were to, actually, let's not go over that just yet. Find steel spark the blade. Blah blah blah. You can change the culture and all that kind of you, if you want to. I don't recommend it. You can change the length. I don't recommend it because what it ends up happening is yes, it will make it longer, but it's not like in Warband where I showed you, where it just kind of creates an invisible extra length. It's not like that. 
it will actually make the sword go, the blade, go further from the, the handle, right? And what this causes is like a floating blade uh, not connected to your handle depending on the blade and how much you increase the length on it. You can change the weight. That will affect the stats a little bit. Um, those, I, don't, I just don't bother. They're not going to affect your game that much. It's not really worth fucking with them. You can, up to you. Where it comes into the difference here is thrust damage and swing damage. And yeah, you could change this, the damage type, to say blunt instead of pierce, right? Or cut, and vice versa. You can make your swing do pierce damage. So let's actually go like that. Capital P. We want it to be the exact same as uh, any, anything we're changing, we're matching it to, to the same layout that it is and making sure it's done the same capitalization and spelling as it was before. Where you can fuck around is actual numbers, damage numbers, right? So. Both are doing pierce damage now, so that's a huge difference. Um, now I've already upped the damage factor quite a bit. Normally these would these would be at at like 3.3 .3 or 3.6 instead of the 53 and the 35 I've added here. Um, I might break the game here, so we'll go like that, right? So now my Spartan blade will do increased damage even more, and I've been switching the swing damage type to pierce. Let's see if it even shows that over here. Yes, it does. So right now it's it's like this. It's going to change when I reload the game and if I save these stats here. Okay. Uh, you can change the look of the actual item compared to what it's set up to look as now. Uh, this can be useful if you wanted it to have a different holster or whatever, or look different, even though it is that particular blade item ID type. You can fuck with that. It's probably not what you're going to be wanting to to do, is my guess. Um, this is, I'm just looking right now to see if... Because uh, there was a holster placement thing. And this may be it. It was spelled differently on some of them. It used to say abdomen or back. And uh, it just did a little bit ago. But I can no longer find where that is. It very well could just be here, the holster mesh. So th that might be where you can change it from, say, your side to your back to your right side or left side. But we're not going to worry about that too much for today just because I was looking at it earlier and I lost it. And as you can see, scrolling through these little things isn't that great. Um, I wonder if I do this. Throw a tab. No. No. Alright. Find steel spark the blade. Okay. So we're going to file. We're going to save that. That's all fine and dandy. Um, what else do I want to do here? So that's going to change that. Now, as you've seen, I've changed the horse, right? If I wanted to do horses and saddles, I would go horses and others. And that is in not this. So if you wanted to change everything but, let's say, crafting pieces for now, we're going to go to modules sandbox core module data and then yes you can change characters here that's going to be where your troops and stuff are and i will show you that shortly but let's go items right this weapons so this will change the base pre-made weapons that are already in the game um, i think changing the crafting pieces like i just did on that other spot there will affect these pre-made items but i don't want to say for sure because it didn't used to affect your already crafted items and now it does so I don't know what, what Terror World's got going on with that so well right click go edit and that brings us to actual weapons and I can go control F and engraved great army sword great back sword you can see that I've already edited 
this one, I believe. Maybe not, but I did edit the backsword. Um, crafted item pieces for it. And that is this one right here. And you can see that it's got the different stats there. This is the actual engraved bastard sword from the regular one that's already in the game. Right here. see because I've changed that crafted item piece it's changed the stats for that as well so that does affect that let's see here what do I want to change body armors so yeah coat of plates as you can see I'm I just put this on my guy I'm wearing coat of plates when I just started this character he came with layered leather, leather tunic and I changed that in my previous attempt at recording this right I want you to pay attention here. I've added head armor to it when normally it wouldn't have that, right? And you can see that obviously the actual stats are far above and beyond what they should be. But let's take a look here. Body armors, coat of plates, northern coat of plates. The weight, okay, so weight 21, is that accurate? Weight 21, okay. <coughs> So, let's put the weight to 1. We'll keep the appearance there. Let's bring this to like 245. We'll put the leg armor at like 619. Put the arm armor at 50, 556. You can change the... I could change this to cloth or mail. You know what I mean? For these types. And it will have a bit of an effect. But you don't... It's not worth screwing around with it too much in my opinion um, okay and then the flags so it's only got team color true on right now but I could so I've already added this here the civilian part what I can do is I'll just go from this is the beginning of the flag this is the end of it right so I'm just gonna go actually I'll take the end of it and I'll go up to team colors true. I'm going to exactly copy that much. Not going to add or remove any extra spaces. Because I want to be able to wear my coat of plates in town without having to change armor or be weaker in town. Now you can do this for any armor and all all parts of the armor. right? You can also change it to team color true on a lot of stuff if it's not set to that already. So coat of plates. Here's the flag. Use team color true. I'm just going to copy that over paste that there exactly. Yeah. Now I have civilian and team color, right? True. Oh, I didn't want it. So don't copy the item part there. I see. That's a good thing I undid that. Exactly team color true. Paste. Boom. Now we got our flags, team color true. So it does, it does my color and it does, I can wear it in town without having to take it off. Okay. Now you can do that for everything. Or anything you want. Um, I've manipulated the stats on it drastically, so let's go ahead and save that. Keep it open. Exit that. Save it just in case. do this with mods too. I believe I've already said that. I don't know. I've recorded this a few times. You just have to edit the mod, the module file instead of the sandbox core, let's say. Right? So, Bandlord modules. Let's say I wanted to edit Blandian Steel because that has its own armors in there. Let's get this loading first. But, let's say I wanted to edit Blandian Steel because it has its own custom armors that look a lot nicer. Right? So come down, you got plate boots, landing shoulders, blah, 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 civilian true. I added that in because normally it wouldn't have that. It's got this empty flags thing here. Let's find something good. Coat of plates, team color true, right? Paste. 
paste. Team colors, civilian, true. No, I didn't add any more spaces there. That's that's the exact same. So it's ending nicely. You can see I've already changed the body armor, armor on this here. Right. Oh, I didn't. Damn it. I didn't do that to show you. So get rid of that. Okay, sorry, so we're gonna have to reload that, but we're gonna do this because I'm gonna add. You see, it's body armor, leg armor, arm armor. You can add head armor to that too, and for any uh, item you want. So what I did was I pressed enter, and I am increasing the spaces till it exactly lines up with that. Why is that? It's because these are done. The spacing here is done by individual spaces. If you used tab to get that to match up, it may fuck up your shit because it's taking out. Just think of it as zeros and ones. Just leave it alone. If you don't know what it does, don't fuck with it. I do, but just look. So we're going to go head armor, all lowercase, copying the exact same way that it is there. Or you could go up to a helmet and copy paste the head armor, blah, 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 but you don't need to. Head armor underscore, or head underscore armor. God. Armor equals quotes 666. Actually, let's go 667 just for bad juju. Okay. So 667. Save it. So now that uh, coat of plates will also have head armor on it once we load up here. understand if this starts taking a little bit of time so feel free to skip past all the loading parts just try to pay attention for when I talk because I do talk quiet and I responded quite a bit like for years to the questions in my last video I probably won't be doing that this much for this it's just my Christmas gift to you guys to be able to mod your own game and change it around because it does make a huge difference and Terror Worlds is extremely slow and let's just be honest the real reason Warband was so good was the mods, period, right? So, inventory, coat of plates, boom. I've got my extra armors all in there. I've added in the head armor, right? You can do, you could do that to your helmet. You could have your helmet and have it say head armor, body armor, leg armor, arm armor, and set it to whatever you want. I've got the sword. The damage type has changed in the swing here from slash to pierce, which is going to do way more damage just from a swing. So you can do this with whatever weapon you want. You just have to be careful not to add any more spacing and make sure your spelling is correct and it will work just fine. Right? Let's see what else. If there's anything I need to show you. No. Okay. So that's that. Now let's take a look at troops. Excellent. Okay, so this is the regular Imperial Archer. I've left him like this, I guess. And these are the infantry, which I have clearly changed. He's not supposed to have any of this stuff on. Neither is this guy or that guy. And I'm going to see if I can change the archer here. I thought I did, to be honest. But I might not have saved that intentionally. So that I can show you guys. Single player characters. Okay. So, anyways, what I did was I went to single player characters. Which is... Sandbox core, module data, single player characters, right click, open it, brings you to here. Right, and I'm looking at item ID, Imperial Archer, right, the name Imperial Archer. This this is 
like the actual character ID if you wanted to add them in through the console or whatever. But you do have to make sure you are being careful with. So if I wanted to add items to them, I wouldn't add uh, the way it's displayed in the cheat menu as leather tunic, right? It may be called something else, maybe called like northern tunic, but in the item ID it's leather underscore tunic. You would want to copy the item ID over to there. Um, so I did not change him, I guess, but that's perfectly fine because I'll do that now live for you, I think. Do I pass him? Hero Archer? Hero Archer. Okay. So as you can see, here would be all his stats, and you can change these to your heart's desire as well. They can go up quite high, five something, I believe. Don't want to do it too high because it probably just won't work. I believe I changed it on somebody's before and it just reverted back down if you go too high. But I could be wrong. Um, let's see here. So that's his stats. As you can see, I just changed that off. That's You can change what they upgrade into, right? And what you would just change here is which says so upgrade target, you would change the ID of character you wanted it to upgrade into. If I wanted to upgrade from an archer into a knight, I could do that. I would just go find the knight's ID by going like this and then knight. Right? So I got the landing knight. Ooh. Yeah, so I could just do this. Copy that. So, once again, we're looking for the Imperial Archer, so we're going to go underscore Archer. Blah, blah, blah. Upgrade target. Based. Now, when I upgrade him, it's going to turn into a knight. I have a landing knight from an Imperial Archer. Okay? Uh, his equipment. These are mostly what they come with, but you can see how there's more variations here. If you wanted to have them have multiple variations of whatever equipment they got, you would add all this as so as a, a pool to pick from for that character, or a random pool. So, so they got they don't all look the same. But if you want them to all look the same, don't add in all the extra equipment roster shit. So body, item, leather tunic. We are going to search for that plated vest that I was wearing. And it, so it's called just plated vest, I believe, here. Right. Coat of plates. But it's not called that in the item IDs. So this is a good example. It's actually northern, something or other. So. Spelling it right, might make a difference. Northern coat of plates, and that's the whole item ID, right? So that's normally would be on a Valandian knight. It's because I already put that on there, actually. So the body slot, body, right? Northern coat of plates. I'm gonna copy that. And you could just type it, but I'm just copying it just for nice and simple. I'll show you guys. Copy. And it doesn't have to be this. can be whatever you want. We're going to go find our Imperial Archer again. This is our guy. Upgrades into a knight. Body. Don't want a leather tunic. We want this magical, magical northern coat of plates. Okay. And actually, oh, so I did change it on his variety. So that's that's where I changed it before. So now he doesn't have a choice. 
um, he's going to spawn with that because he's got two choices to spawn with that or to spawn with that. Right? That's a different character. Okay. Save. Close Mountain Blade. Restart it. I know it's annoying, but ideally you wouldn't be doing this one at a time like what I am to show you. You would change everything at once and go have at it. Um, I want to say right now, I should have said this at the beginning, I advise you copying whatever file you're going to change first just because I do not trust you fuckers to not put something out of place. And if you put something out of place and you don't know where you put it out of place, good luck scrolling through all that text to find out where that extra space is or where you accidentally pressed T or something like that and added in a letter that's going to screw up the whole game. So I recommend copying the file, putting it aside somewhere in a different folder maybe in case you need to back it up. You can just verify your files and that'll do it. And that'll reset it. But that'll reset any other files you've also changed successfully. So just bear that in mind. It is annoying going through and changing this all the time, which is what I was doing for a long time and they were constantly updating it, which is why I didn't bother making a video for it just because it would just be too frustrating everybody going back and doing this like my my eyes start dying on me looking at the white and all the text for that long but let's see here so party very larger boom looking stylish as fook right look at that he upgrades into a knight that's pretty crazy Give experience. I don't remember how to do that. Oh. There was a way to just give levels when you got cheats on, but I cannot remember. Anyway, you can see there that he upgrades into a knight. Right. Let's see if we can find any in enemies. Because I have upped all their stats by disgustingly excessive amounts. So let's see if we can get an example. Where's my little pass that I like? slow because I filled them full of crafting materials to showcase these items for you. Um, yeah. I wouldn't trust the whole auto-completing battles thing because it doesn't affect or doesn't take into account your stats and your item <laughs> damages, but even though I think it should, it's very, very much more of a rock, paper, scissors thing. So we'll go F1. If you're seeing it right, these are just Imperial recruits. They're absolutely slaughtering these guys. The, the horse AI is shit, but you know I've upped, I've changed these weapons, so it doesn't matter where I hit them. These are way overpowered weapons that I've got on me. Trolls in this are fucked. Anyway. Okay. Uh, this is bad. I can't scroll in. That's cute. Mountain Blade. That's real cute.
So anyways, you've seen how that happens. Now you can edit whatever character types you want. Right? Obviously you're not going to want to do this kind of shit that I've done here. You're more likely going to want to edit it so it makes sense and makes the game fun for you, but you can do that whatever way you want. If you wanted some sand bandits rocking around in full heavy plate with just disgusting weapons, then you can do that. Um, or you could create your own personal troops and army just by changing their equipment. You can change what name they're called, right? Like this is their target ID. So that's what the game is recognizing them as their name. You can change their actual name that you're going to see right here. It's not going to turn it into a different dude. It'll just be your personal customization. Right? And then that will show up as that next time I'm playing. So that's characters. That's should be able to figure out how you can do that individually for each item on your dude to make them look whatever way you want to and change their stats for them. Right? And I recommend if you're trying to find a specific item, you use the, the cheat engine. So how I turned that on was I went to the console. It says alt and then the, the tiddly key. And you go config cheat mode but a one right now it's enabled and that will let you get to the inventory for cheats where I where I was where I was showing you this right where it click inventory and it pulls up this massive fucking inventory of everything in the game right so if you can pick and choose how you want to design your guys by doing that then you would say if I wanted VN bracers put that on my dude go to the uh, body armors actually nope because that's body armors go to module data if I can click on it module data items uh, arm armors because we were looking at the fiat fion bracers right don't don't double click on it like I just did because that opens the HTML like I was telling you Control F, Fion, Fion bracers. Look at that. Right? I could change the weight, and I could change the stats of it. Leather, blah blah blah. Arm armor 18. Arm armor 118. Right? So, the armor in this game is real shit. Like it's real shit. Like they they don't know how to fucking do weapons and armor. It's pretty fucking disgusting. Uh, how swords and you know paper can cut through fucking metal plate. Uh, it's it's they just done a shit job. So you and the, the armor mods that try to make it more balanced, quote unquote, they, they don't do a good job. You have to up the armor to ridiculous fucking amounts for it to actually work like armor, and that's just due to them not including. What I would have showed you is what I was able to do on Mountain Blade um, Warband, where you can actually change the percentages that go through different armor types based on different damage types but they've removed that module changing thing uh, for this unless they've added it in this patch I don't know but as far as I know they removed that so you can't fuck with the actual workings the actual module of the game for and where you used to be able to change like speed of arrows projectiles all this kind of bullshit can't do that no more so anyways if you wanted to change your horse or your saddles, horses and others, right? Head armors, blah, 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 this is all in sandbox core, basic weapons, tournament weapons, shoulder armors, shields, you would all do it here. You're also gonna find the item IDs here that you're gonna need to, right? So heavy round shield, you, didn't, you wouldn't put heavy round shield on your, if you're editing the character file to change that, you're gonna put the ID item ID heavy round shield. Unfortunately, well, fortunately that is really close, but a lot of these will not be, right? Strapped round shield is the item ID for this. The name for it is reinforced round shield. See what I mean? If you put one, you're not going to get that. It's just not going to work for changing the actual characters file to have them show up like that. 
you have to put item ID and whatever it is. Okay. Now I'm gonna have to. Now I've just fucked these up horribly, but that's just for show, just so everybody understands. What else do I want to show you guys here? This might be it. I hope it is. I hope it's it, because these get really long videos. Once again, you can do it on any mod you want, right? And you know, if it's if it's a mod that is replacing the stats for vanilla items or new inventory stuff like that or it's modded armor types you'll have to change it through that mod not on this okay skills that's another one you can do here so skill modifiers so I've upped the power strike by oh there power strike three by quite a bit so that's these these are multipliers so the first level of power strike would go up you'd multiply it by 1.08 so by 8% you're going up um, from Power Strike 1. Power Strike 2, uh, your thrust and swing goes up by another 8%, right? So I've just changed that from going up by 0.8. I have to right here, so if you got to Power Strike 3, let's say, boom, you're doing w way more multiplications. I'll be doing two and a half times the swing, three and, it's almost three and, three and a quarter, I guess, the, the thrust multiplication of what your weapons are going to be. Um, right. And you could change running speeds, shit like that. that. That that'd be your skills here. Okay. Iron flesh, so on and so forth. It looks like they really did not include a bunch of these in here. Um, but that's fine. Because this is that new update, I can't show you my full changed troops and weapons that I used to have, but you can mod your own game completely like this, and it just it makes it a lot easier. So I hope this helped people. I hope it uh, gives you some ideas of what you can do yourself. I was trying to look to see if I could mod looters, but I could not find them in the character file. So. If you have that same problem, don't worry about it. I couldn't find looters either. Don't know fucking why. It might be in a multiplayer character file. Because um, some of the multiplayer files do affect single player. And then they got true and false for whether they're active. But as you can see, you could make your dudes do edit to whatever the fuck you want. Right? I hope that's enough, at least. I know I forgot a whole bunch of shit. If you have more requests and more questions, I'll try to clarify a bunch. Like I said, I've tried to redo this recording a few times, and I've screwed it up a bunch. But at least this is out there for you guys. It's a lot easier than it was in Warband. Hopefully, I haven't screwed up my talking about it to uh, discourage anybody. But... Merry Christmas, have fun, and uh, we'll see if one of you losers can actually conquer all of Colorado.